are you buying your own lies? That's another question I wanted to ask you. Are you buying your own lies that you're not good at tech? Do you keep saying that? What are you repeating again and again and again? Oh, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. I'm not... Guides, stop implanting your brain every single day with lies. It's a lie. How about you change it to, I haven't learned how to be good with tech yet, but I'm willing. That starts to change the energy of it. All right. You got to pay attention to what you keep saying. And every time you're saying it, you just reinforce it again and again and again. How about starting to reinforce some things that are excellent for you? I am excellent at what I do. I'm an expert in my field. Now, the first few times I said that, I just about choked because there was a part of me that didn't believe it. But as I started to get vulnerable, vulnerable around what I was thinking about myself and feeling about myself. And I was working with my coach on that while we were working on the business. I started to uncover the lies that I kept buying into that were no longer true. I started to look at the facts. We are we suck at looking at the facts because we're not being vulnerable about the secrets that we've got inside of us. We don't want anybody to know about. Nothing's going to change if you keep those secrets deep inside of you. You've got to be willing to change that. Uh, what are you willing to do to be successful? Are you willing to change those stories? Are you willing to ask someone for guidance? Are you willing to hire a business coach so they can assist you? Are you willing to admit, hey, I'm not great over here, or I'm not great in this thing, or I'm freaking out about this, or I'm worrying about that? Are you willing to really look at what makes up you? All of the good, bad, ugly and the great things about you do you understand that when you focus on the things that are great about you they're going to grow well guess what most of us entrepreneurs are focusing on the things we're not great at and they're growing too stop resisting business success start to put things in place to support you to grow start to put in things that will make you shine make you happy make you giggle people used to say to me christine you should just focus on one thing no, I know me. I love doing lots of different things. That's the way my creative juices are. If you know human design, I'm a generator. This is how I operate. And this is where I get my most joy is in doing more and more and more. It lights me up and I'm excellent at it. And the more I acknowledge that, the more that my business grows and the more I grow the more happily I grow. And that's so, so important because a happy entrepreneur is a successful entrepreneur. But if you're not happy with what you're doing and you're not happy with the results, it's going to show.